to you is this space travel. I... No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, so, so first of all, it's suborbital. Right. It's suborbital, and NASA did that 60 years ago with Alan Shepard. Right. Okay, launched from Cape Canaveral and landed in the ocean. And if you don't go fast enough to reach orbit, you will fall out and you'll land back on so, Earth. Uh, we should point out neither Bezos nor Branson will will be placed into orbit. Correct. Right. Okay. So, so there's. Did you go high enough? Then did you get into orbit? That's another kind of, I, I kind of like that one. And another one is, did you actually go somewhere? So you going to the moon or Mars or beyond? So SpaceX's concept is, we want to send people places, all right, as, as, as an effort to, to, to push this boundary, but push this, this space exploration frontier. Now, all that being said, I'm delighted that this could be a new tourist attraction right. in the world. I have no problems or hesitation celebrating this fact. And it should have been happening decades ago. Decades ago. It should have been 60 years before private enterprise ended up doing what NASA did back in 1961. So, 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 uh, uh, more power to all of them. But is there a gain in knowledge uh, that comes from you boldly going to where man has gone many times before. Yeah, yeah, boldly going where hundreds have gone before. <laughs> I, I mean, I, can, can I, you, can I, yeah, can I, yeah, can yeah. I invoke this here? Okay, I just found this laying around on the desk. <laughs> um, where, where GPS? Yeah, <laughs> GPS, good. So, uh, this is a typical schoolroom globe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you want to ask, oh, by the way, uh, how high up does the space station orbit? The space station. Yeah. Authentically a space faring vessel. Uh, that, if it's, if Earth was size, it would be one centimeter above the surface. Wow. If you, if you, if you poll people and say, where do you think the, the space station is? They'll stick it out here somewhere. It is one centimeter. Okay. Now you're going to ask, uh, what happens if you, uh, uh, where is this magic boundary where you start seeing? Well, that would be two millimeters above the surface. Wow. And, and now you're going to be sort of less than that. And so it's, the, you know, the thickness of maybe two dimes above the surface. And so, uh, Okay, you want to call it space because human, you know, uh, regular people haven't done that before. So there's a novelty to it. Oh, and by the way, just for context, I got this apple here. This is a slightly smaller than the size of the moon. Uh, so you might ask, well, where is the moon on this scale? The moon is 10 meters away in the next room. Wow. So that's why it takes eight minutes to get to orbit and three days to get to the moon. That's actual space travel. Okay, so just to, for context, so I see it not as oh we're going into space. No, you're getting a you're getting a nice view of the Earth, and I don't even know if you're going to see the curvature. I did some calculations, and I'm thinking they're not. Um, if you're two millimeters above the surface of this globe, you're not you're not getting the whole this perspective.